Good morning, good afternoon, good evening out there in crypto nerd land. I am, of course, the real Monty Allen, and I am your crypto nerd. If you are out there in the wild, hit hashtag Algo News. I will find you. I will put you in the news. You could be part of the morning Algo News. But guess what? Today, you're a day late and an Algo short because this is yesterday's Algorand News. That's right. You already missed your chance to be in today's Algorand News, but that's okay. You still have tomorrow. Let's see what we've got on the docket today. So first up, my boy Al Algoson. So he puts out this tweet and I couldn't have said it better. So I'm just going to straight up read this as if it was my script. So Al Algoson, give him a follow. He says, IMO, in my opinion, Yieldly is here to stay. As time goes by, new products will be launched and the community around Yieldly will grow. They have the backing and the support from the Algorand team, along with some big backers and could have a very promising future. Low cap gem. Hashtag low cap gem. All right, so he is very bullish on Yieldly. I am coming around. I like the Yieldly team. The more I watch them, I watch the old, the all hands. I, I like, I like what they're doing. Um, I think the Yieldly team is is making some moves. However, man, check this out. I don't often talk about price, and I'm still not really going to talk about price or make any price predictions here. I'm just simply notating that I'm Mexi. Like there is a whale. Just, just holding down the price right now. So this whale has been been fluctuating between like, I don't know, 10 million to 20 million yearly, holding the line there at you know roughly you know six tenths of a penny, a little more, point point zero zero six two eight, point zero zero six three. I think I've seen it. Like it's it's always like right there, and I don't know if that's one person selling or if that's you know multiple people everybody's just like oh that's the spot let me put my price there but in order to actually move some yieldly when that happens you have to undercut this this whale otherwise they're just going to get all of the, the the buy orders right so it's it's very interesting to see that somebody's number one is is moving that much yieldly um, you know, I'm, I'm tempted to go on there and try and take a chunk out of it myself, but I, I don't know who's got there. Maybe they got billions of yieldly. I don't know. Maybe it's, I, I have no idea what's going on there, but it's just interesting to see that, man, there's a, there's a, there's a huge supply out there. It's being held down right there. And when this, this supply runs out, when this, when this wall is broken down, what's going to happen? I don't know. I'm not a technical analyst. That's somebody else's job. Somebody else make that video and I'll reference it. I'm just notating that there's a big old wall there. And uh, people are taking notice. That's why we need some some additional uh, you know liquidity pools there. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, anyway, uh, we've got the uh, the link to the all hands. It's about an hour long. Uh, the initial audio is a little dicey, um, but it's still very interesting, right? So we've got uh, uh, the the props team. We, we've got the uh, the prop team. We've got the uh, algo mint uh, meld team. We've got yieldly, of course, in there. Um, it's it's a nice um, you know combination of folks. Oh, I left somebody else out. Oh man, I'm sorry. Whoever I just left out, I'm having a brain brain moment. Old old man moment. I'm going older as I sit here. Anyway, so we've got this that is that is kind of an hour long discussion. Seb does a decent uh, you know job of of chiming in there. They got the yieldly roadmap that is about to come out. I'm excited about it. Maybe that'll help us break down that wall I just spoke about. Um, Meld and Algomend are doing some cool things. They're switching the way some assets are back because it seems like they're you know going away from some gold stuff, going to some silver stuff. All right, that's that's cool. Um, it's it's interesting. It's only an hour. I think you can actually watch it on speed. I'll put the the link down below um, so that you can you know sign up, watch it. You got to plug in your email address so you can watch it. And um, yeah, yeah, I think you can watch it at like 125% speed or something along those lines and kind of knock it out a little faster. Um, it's an interesting watch, so go check it out. All right, next up, let's talk about Tiny Man. So I haven't really mentioned a whole lot of Tiny Man, and, they may, and you may be thinking like, oh, Monty, what's going on? Tiny Man, I thought you're an Algodex, you know, maxi. Well, yes, I love the Algodex project. You know, I've, I've got some connections there. I've talked to the, the, the founders. But Tiny Man is, is really interesting as well. And I don't think this is a binary decision, right? It's not an if, if like, this or that. It's a, it's a, hey, everybody's included and we need options. 
kind of a thing. So, yes, Tiny Man seems to be, like, you know, racing to the finish line here. Take a look. So, they, they posted this picture here that seems to show, you know, the, 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 the active pools, what's going on, what's available. And, you know, you can connect to your wallet. You can check the, the pools. You can make swaps. It's decentralized exchange. You can check it out. Tiny Man has been making some moves. Now, take a look at their roadmap. So, Q2... 2021 that's that's right now that just that just really just ended right so test net launch with basic features swap and add liquidity okay we, we've seen that we've seen some some demos some screenshots okay that's that's live all right q2 to q3 security audit by runtime verification this is important because you want to make sure you've got your security in line i can't say how important it is to make sure that algorand is the most secure blockchain and ecosystem in fact uh, I want to make a call out there talking about, you know, security. Like, number one, yes, anybody who comes on, you need to make sure that they're, they they have secure projects and everything is fully audited. But also, man, if you guys see some scammers out there, we got to run those people out of the community. There is no sense having people come in and try and poach and take advantage of people in our community. you got to report that stuff vigilantly and eventually like if, if every time they just get shut down if there's a, a youtube you know impersonator or twitter impersonator or you know somebody's on telegram and they try to tell you hey do you need a uh, customer service help we try we saw that you had trouble with your exchange just go ahead and give me your keys no that, that, that doesn't roll that way so make sure that you report those people and shut them down instantaneously all right i'll get off my, my pedestal about that all right so q3 Tiny Man V1 mainnet launch. That's right now. That that's that's right now. Q3 to Q4 run technical roadmap published. So this roadmap here obviously kind of loosey goosey. This is just this is like as vague as vague can be, right? We got we got we got Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q1 again with next year, and like not even like full sentences for descriptions on the roadmap, but it's enough to give us an idea. And we've been following their Twitter, like we know what's going on. All right. Q3, anyway, full technical roadmap published. They're going to dive in. They're going to give us some details there. Q1 of next year, governor, governance and token release. That's interesting. So give the power to the people. And, uh, you know, that token release, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens there. So, Tiny Man, I, I like the project. You know, I'm, I'm by no means a, uh, you know, exclusive, uh, you know, to, to one exchange for whatever reason. I think that we need competition. I think that we need variety. I think that we need more liquidity so that things like, you know, $11 million, you know, uh, sell wall on one exchange don't happen to an ASA, right? So when we have more liquidity, more, more pools happening, more, more options, then something like that isn't going to stop the price necessarily, right? Or at least there's there's more there's more people you know making the exchange. It's less likely to, to stand for a period of time. So I how I for one am am looking forward to all of these projects, and it seems like now there's just it's just like a foot race, you know? It's just everybody kind of sprinting for the finish line, and the, but they're still doing it right. Look, the, you know the like the only thing they listed prior to mainland launch is security audit. Like, clearly, that is a high priority, and we want that to be a high priority. So, good deal. All right. I don't know. I went to Amazon. The Amazon story is not done yet. Amazon and Algorand. All right. They're not exactly partners. I couldn't pay for my Algo swag with Algo, but you know what? There is a surprising amount of swag available on a Amazon for the Algorand community. So, you know, that, that mug that everybody's, you know, is showing. I think Kelly got one the other day. Eat, sleep, Algorand, repeat. I ordered mine. It says it's going to take like three weeks to get to me, but I ordered it. My t-shirt, though, my Algorand Millionaire Loading t-shirt, that came like next day. I don't think it was prime, but it was still it was still pretty swift. So anyway, I'll post the link. It's not sponsored in in the link. I probably if I was smart, I probably would have figured out how to do this Amazon sponsored thing. So I make like you know a penny every time you buy some Al Algorand swag. But there must be I don't know 25, 30 different items that are on there with Algorand swag on them. So when we do these meetups, you know, post up in your in your Algo swag so we can identify each other. I want to see some Algorand t-shirts and hats out in the wild so that when i see you you know walking up and down the street or what have you i give you the, the you know the head nod hey that guy knows what's happening right i'll go i'll go to the to the to the moon baby all right so 
get your swag. Get your swag. I don't know. Still trying to figure out how to do a an Algorand uh, meeting up in the Dallas DFW area. You want to meet the crypto nerd crew? We'll, we'll be here. Maybe we'll get Algo Pulse. So Algo Pulse is making moves. I think they got some sponsoring too, kind of working or something. I think those folks might have some money behind them because they've got uh, Michael working with the the Algo Mint team, and they've been introduced. They, they mentioned some funds, I think, in their Telegram chat. Like they they might actually be you know trying to do what I do, but on a like professional level, not just some dude in his office making videos in the morning. Not that I do a bad job. Or you guys don't appreciate me. I know you do. But uh, maybe they'll bring some legitimacy to uh, the Algorand community and with a little more consistency, what have you. Maybe I can guest report for them. We'll see what happens. Anyway, hopefully uh, we get uh, more people in the ecosystem. The Algorand crew is growing. And uh, that's all I got for today. So thanks, as always, for watching. I appreciate you. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you tomorrow.